Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd habatifillah as we mentioned before the da'wah to Ahlul Sunnah is calling from the book of Allah to the book of Allah and calling from the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam habatifillah with knowing that with knowing our call we have to strengthen our resolve. And this is advice to myself and to my brothers and sisters in Islam that we have to come back to our, to our unique identity. Our identity which was established by the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Madhab of the Salaf. Because this keeps us from deviant ideologies. It keeps us and it binds us together. And it grounds us upon a methodology to deal with the different changes throughout time. Yes, the madhab of the salaf will, is always relevant. And it will always have a way and a means for dealing with things. Unlike what the uh, people of the new manahij, the new ways, and the new methodologies claim. They claim that the madhab of the salaf is not relevant or the madhab of the salaf does not contain the answers but this is false this is false brothers and sisters and so don't be fooled otherwise the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam would not have cemented and affirmed for us that madhab and let us know through prophecy that that would be the madhab of success the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said as we mentioned in the, the hadith uh, of the Ummah dividing. If Tarakat al Yahud al Etu was Rain Ferko, if Tarakat al Nasara al Natain was Rain Ferka, who set up Tariku had the Ummah al Talata was Rain Ferka, Kula half and Nal and Wilder, Kula men here, Rasulullah, Kala men can I meet him, I can I, he was Habi. The Prophet Sallallahu let us know the Jews were breaking the 71 sect, Christian 72 sect, my Ummah in 73 sects, all of them in the fire. The Prophet said, all of them in the fire. Illa Wilder. Then he made a stethna. He said, he made the exception, except one. And they said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, those who are upon what I'm upon, and my companions are upon. The Prophet Wasallam said, Let tattabi'oon as-sunan man kana qablakum hudwa al-qudda hatta law dakhulu al-juhra dabla dakhultumuhu. Qalu, Ya Rasulullah, al-Yahud wa Nasara, qala faman. The Prophet Wasallam said, you would follow uh, those who came before you, arm span, or hand span by hand span, arm span by arm span, even if they entered the hole of a lizard, and it's a special lizard, the dhab, you would, you would follow into it. And what I want to mention, Abhatifillah, because I live in a place where the dhab is very prevalent here. The dhab, he lives in a special hole, and his hole is not easy. It's not just like a, a simple cave. But in fact, it, it uh, winds and it turns. So it's a very difficult hole to get into and the Prophet Sallallahu he mentioned the he said Jahra Dhab he mentioned that it was the hole of the Dhab letting us know that even though that's difficult you as a nation we would still follow those who came before us and then the Sahaba radiallahu ta'ala and they said who are they Ya Rasulullah he said the, or said the Jews and the Christians Ya Rasulullah he said for men who else who else except for that we would follow them and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with Amal Nafid as can tayyibu Amal Al-Mutakabil and adherence to the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, 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 Wasall